Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I am your host, High Lord Tamberlane, and this here in front of us is Coatilicue, the Quetzalcoatl Mother. This comes to us from Lost Kingdoms Miniatures. If you've been watching, I am slowly but surely trying to go through as many of the Lost Kingdom models as I have. Popping open the box, which is getting kind of repetitive, and maybe I'm not going to do that much more. We have, first of all, a scenic base topper, a big 50 millimeter base, in a bag full of goodies. Now, our Coatilacue comes to with carrying a bunch of staves. And actually, she has a, quite a few bags. That's a first, because most of these figures I built, and I guess she has a lot of little delicate parts. So she's got this big old banner staff thing that she's waving over her head, and along with a very fancy looking spear. And I've mentioned this in just about every video I've made on these Lost Kingdom models, and if you don't believe me, you can take a look at them yourself or get some on your own. There is a ton of crazy detail in these models. You can see just the individual little designs. Let's even zoom it in closer. All those little designs on the armor. Jeez. On the staff. That's just craziness. I mean, who's going to really pay attention to that other than like a big nerd like me? Well, obviously me. I guess I'm the target model for this kind of stuff. So if you're into painting elaborate, intricate armor details, I guess this is the kit for you. Let's see if we can get that in focus, maybe? There we go. So these models do need a bit of cleanup. So just be aware, you're going to have a lot of work ahead of you to get them ready. Not that it's super difficult stuff to clean, but, you know, just bears mentioning all right, what do we got in here? It looks like the body and the tail. Thankfully, all of her little spiky, skewed things are still attached. Had a problem with one of the Croxagore big dudes where his parts were not attached. That wasn't fun. Again, you can see really nicely, elaborately detailed armor. I'm not sure if those are actually supposed to be mammary glands or breasts on this. It is a reptile, but, you know... As far as I can tell, most reptiles are pretty hard to spot the gender on. But she's the mommy. She's the mother. Here you can see her fancy headdress. Much more Saurian looking than some of the others. And she's got this cool feathered skirt going on. Thankfully, it's not a phallic skirt like some of our Kingdom Death models. That's what I first thought when I saw it, but, you know, being the mother, hey, why not? Might be appropriate. So, I'm going to get the stuff to get her all cleaned up. This base also I wanted to mention real fast. This is actually the same base as the one that is included with the Quetzalcoatl father, whose name is complicated and I can't remember it at the moment, but you'll notice that there's these couple of different imprints of feet on it and that's actually so you can fit both of them I don't know if she can go no, her feet aren't together anyway I don't know if they can go both directions or what but I might play around with that I'm gonna grab the clippers and some hobby knives and we are going to go to town on this pile of resin I'll be back in a little bit all right, we've got our Quetzalcoatl mother all finished up here, except you'll notice that I did not attach her banner flagpole thingy to the staff yet, just because it's kind of in the way, and I'd like to be able to paint everything nice and hopefully neat. I also didn't bother attaching the spearhead or the mother yet. Sorry, Coatilacui. All right, so how does she compare to some of the other models from the Lost Kingdoms line? So as we said earlier, she's on a 50 millimeter base, and just like she's the mother, well, here's the happy father. So pretty similar in size. Um, obviously, they're going to be nowhere near as big as Tlaloc here. Grabbing our standard lizard man. You know, obviously he's going to be dwarfed by them. You probably could squeeze this onto a 40 millimeter base, use them as proxy croxagores if you want. Um, grabbing our other friend here, the heart eater dude, he's about the same size. So whatever variation of lizard men they are, using the temple guard, oh, temple guard as well. 
they're big models, but I think especially if you're going to get creative, maybe not in a Warhammer game necessarily, but in like a Kings of War game or some other mass battle or Ninth Age or whatever it is you do, you might be able to find a good use for these guys. So I know they actually had a little thing even on the box about being compatible with Ninth Age, so might be a good choice. Anyway, this is the Mother Coatila Kue. I am High Lord Tamburlaine. This is Obscurities and Miniatures. And now it's the time for me to say goodbye. Check out the stuff from Lost Kingdom on their website, and we'll see you all later.